guys hope you're well thought while i had all the uh camera set up and everything i would quickly do a weekly makeup basket which i haven't done for a few weeks or maybe even two months i guess um oops but I did actually go through my makeup basket and tidied up a whole lot of stuff and I did a big clean out because of going away. So I had actually packed all of my travel makeup and had a good sort through back then um, for my business trip. But unfortunately, at the last minute, it got cancelled. So, um, so the makeup basket sort of been left a little bit. But I'm really proud to say I have actually worked my way through quite a few products and I'm ready to actually toss quite a bit as well. So let's have a look at what I've got in here currently, um, which is pretty much still exactly the same way, way it was since last time I put all of this stuff in there. Um, yes, yeah, so I'll just quickly go through and review everything and have a bit of a clean out. So what have I got in here? I have got in here the Revlon Color Stay Mineral Finishing Powder. This is a bronzer. And I absolutely love this. It is actually quite shimmery. So um, I really only use it in summertime and really just when I want some chest bronzing and stuff. I don't put a lot of it on my face because of the shimmer. Um, it tends to highlight all of those wide open oily pores that I have. But anyway, I'm going to keep that in my box for this week because I am using that at the moment. Um, I do have in here, I've been using the mineral powder in ivory one i'm going to continue on using that so that's really nice i use it as a finishing powder um, sometimes in the weekend i'll just use that on its own as my foundation if i just want a very light dusting um, we've got in here the makeup finishing spray by mary Kay. absolutely adore this stuff this just helps to cut down any powdery look and it just helps to keep your makeup staying nice and fresh um, and it just seems to make it look nice and smooth. It also helps to keep things looking a little bit matte for myself. So sometimes if I know I've got a really busy day, I will actually spritz this on before my foundation and then I'll spritz again afterwards. And it really just helps to set it all. Um, I've got in here the Honey Glow Finisher. I must admit, I haven't actually used this very much. I bought it. Um, and then I haven't used it that often simply because it is quite glowy and me having an oily skin and it being the height of summer, um, I haven't really wanted to use it because I just don't want any extra glow that I already seem to be able to create naturally. Um, so I'm going to take this out of my makeup box for now. I'll put it back in there for winter time because I do quite like playing around with glowy stuff in the winter. For foundation, I've been loving the Matte 3D foundation. The formula I have is the matte one, obviously, in W130, equivalent to Ivory 5 in the old system. It is a perfect match. So if you're Ivory 5, um, W130 is the perfect match. This is actually starting to feel quite low, so I'm going to have to go back to using up some of my old ones before I order another one of those. Mascara, I've been using the Love Lash, um, which I'm actually quite enjoying. Normally my go-to is the Ultimate one. Um, this is Mary Kay we're talking, in case you're not sure. Um, but I had one of these left in my stock and I wanted to use it up, but I have actually been enjoying it. It actually creates very lovely, long, fine lashes, not quite as thick as the Ultimate. So it's been very nice for over the summer. Um, this is one of the ones that I've used up. This was a MAC blush and sorry, I don't know the name of it because it's all worn off, but it is a dupe for Mary Kay's Sunny Spice. It is all gone. There's only really the edges there and quite frankly, it's a struggle to get them out and when you've got a drawer full of Mary Kay blushes, I don't really need to. So that one is going to go into the bin, which I happen to have down here. Um, I've got the MAC Skin Finisher in Soft and Gentle. I absolutely love this. This is gorgeous. It's actually, it's almost lost its dome now. I've used quite a bit of it, but you get so much in one of these. It's a ridiculous amount. Um, or it's really good value for the money. I don't know, but I get a bit overwhelmed with how much product sometimes you get. Um, but I'm going to keep this in my box because I really like it for using um, as eyeshadow just on the under the brows and in the corner of my eyes. So quite nice for highlighting. Um, I've had the shimmering 
thing i talked about this in my last box mine broke it actually has a little pump lid which broke when i first got it so i was a bit disappointed about that the color is absolutely beautiful i'm just struggling to get the product out so i tend to have to take it off and scoop it out with the little eyedropper so it's kind of messy but um, the favorite way that I like to use this is just mixing it in with my foundation and I do it just in my fingers and apply the whole lot like moisturizer. It's so quick and easy and simple. It seems to be, seems to be my go-to at the moment for how to apply foundation. I seem to have just ditched the brushes for a while. I know they'll come back and so will sponges um, but at the moment I'm just enjoying doing it with my hands. Um, a good oldie favorite is my eye primer. I cannot live without this. If you're a consultant I've actually done a video on how to demo this at your parties. It works like a treat um, to show how effective the eye primer is so I will link that video down below um, if you want to know the best way to get sales on this product um, then check out that video. Um, I've got in here my Mary Kay Black Gel. This really is starting to dry out now. It's on its last legs. I think I will order a new one in my next order. So I'll keep it in the box till then. But it's really starting to become quite difficult to work with. I have in here my Volumizing Brow Tint. Which I love. Although I have to say over the summer months I haven't been wearing it. Um, so I'll keep it in the box. But yeah, I'm not using it that much at the moment. I've been using these to death. This is my little Mary Kay quad that I've got here. It looks like this. And it's got these beautiful colours in there. Just very neutrals. I have hit pan on two of them. Um, I'm going to keep them in my box to keep using them just because I really love those colours. They're kind of very soft but almost very shimmery metallic like. So I'm really enjoying those. I've got here my highlighting pen in shade one. Um, if you remember these, these have now been replaced with um, the under eye concealer and the, can't remember the other name, I'll look it up for you. Um, but I've still got a few of these in my stock, so I was using them up. They have the little windy brush. Um, so really nice for just really brightening the eye area. I don't really use concealer. I don't find that I need it, but I do like to every now and then just make my eye makeup look a little bit brighter. And what have I got in here? Oh, I've got the foundation primer sunscreen. I've been using this. It's got SPF 15. I took it away on holiday because obviously the SPF, but I just really love how this makes your foundation go on a lot smoother. It just makes your skin really nice and slippery so it glides on. I've got in here the lip primer and the lip liner in dusty pink and I'm pretty sure I have not used either of them since the last video so um, that's a bit of an oops. Um, I'm going to make a better effort to use these because they are both nearly gone. I think this has only got, yeah, it's got hardly anything left. So come on, Jen, make a better effort and use that up. And then what have, I don't know how this has got in here. I think it was in my travel. This was a sample, a Nivea Cream Care Facial Cleansing Cream Wash. It's empty. I've had it in my travel bag. So I think I just popped in there to show you something I've used up so it can go in the rubbish. I've had in here the Savvy Minerals Pink Lip Gloss. I'm pretty sure I haven't used that either because I would put gloss over the top of the Dusty Pink Lip Liner if that was how I was going to wear it. And I haven't been because I explained this in my last video. The lip colour that I have been absolutely obsessing over is this one. This is an old Mary, Lip, Mary Kay lipstick in Retro Rose. Now it's not a rosy pink. It is actually, I don't know if you can see that it is actually kind of a neutral orangey colour. Um, I absolutely love this lipstick and what I was doing was wearing this one with a pink one over the top and it just gave the most perfect neutral warm colour but with a hint of pink and I was obsessed with that. I've pretty much worn it all month. The pink one must be in my handbag. Sorry, I haven't got that here with me. But this is now pretty much all gone. I could scoop it out, but I've got a million lipsticks that um, I don't need to do that. So this is going to go in the bin. Sad, but yay, I have finally finished a lipstick. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> so, yeah. And then the last thing in the box is my Mary Kay Compact, which is still empty because I was going to fill this for travel. 
and of course travel didn't happen so I didn't need to fill it so that can go back in the box so I think really all I need to do for this month is pick out a couple new lipsticks and start working on them and a blush so I'm not sure what I'm going to use um I'll have a dig around tomorrow when I'm doing my makeup and then I will update you guys next week hopefully um, with how I went with all of these products and I think by the end of next week I'll be ready for a bit of a change. I have to go away for work again next weekend so I'll definitely have a, a bit of a clean out and fix up my travel bag for an overnighter um, so I think I'll have a bit of a change over then so for this week I'm just going to keep it all the same. So there you go guys, I hope you enjoyed this weekly makeup basket and it inspires you to go and have a bit of a sort through your current collection, shop your stash of stuff that you've got stored away, um, figure out whether you want to keep it or not, whether it's expired and have just a good old clean out and use up that makeup because at one point you obviously really, really liked it. So have a great week until next week and I'll talk to you all soon. Thanks guys, bye.